<laughs> Look who I found. Tony! Tony! How'd she find you? Facebook. And I'll bet it wasn't even that hard. So you're the famous Tony. I owe you a debt of thanks for bringing me to Wonderland. You saw the article. It was exceptionally well written. Yay! Thanks, thanks Tony! Tony! I owe you one. Can I take you up on that now? Hey, no time like the present, as my old man used to say. Cool. I mean, thanks. You gotta help me, man. I think she's gonna kill me. Who is this who's going to kill you? Sadie! <laughs> <laughs> what is the funny? Tony's in danger, no? Hey, no, man, Kifle, le violage. <laughs> you cannot die from sex. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. You can't trust a French man on this. Okay, I'll buy that, but we just met. And it's been three times already. Hey, three times, not so bad. Three times this afternoin! <laughs> All right! But you have a different pollution, toi. We're gonna make you an honorary member of the French connection. <laughs> okay. Okay, I accept it. But Lee, what am I supposed to do now? Hey kid, take it from me. Enjoy it while you can. When you get to be my age, Three times a day, that'd be a miracle. <laughs> Hell, three times in 12 months, that'd be a really good year. <laughs> hey everyone, Sadie brought in Cards Against Humanity. She certainly did. I love that game. Me too. You should try the Swedish version. It's deliciously despicable. <laughs> a daddy talking to his young son after his mother left them. Son, your mommy loves you very much, but apparently she loves... The pool must be in his more. <laughs> Certainly has to be the cards are girls against the boys. Yeah. 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 You sure you guys don't need any more help cleaning up? No. Take off, brother. Okay. Well, see you tomorrow. If we're still here, right, Sterling? <laughs> if you're still here, indeed. <sighs> this is such a great thing you're doing with Wonderland. We're doing it. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're right. We're doing it! <laughs> Morning, Colonel. Hey, I got some good news. Robbie, I told you. We should just call me Lee. That wouldn't seem right, sir. All right, let me hear it then. I might be getting my Section 8 back. Hey, that would be good news. Yeah, get me off the street. Anything I can do to help? You do enough for me already, sir. Us vets gotta stick together, right? Hoorah! Sorry, I know your army, but once a Marine, always a Marine. Wouldn't have it any other way. Hey, Robbie, I got some good news of my own. Well, let's hear it then. I just opened my own coffee shop right down the way here. Congratulations, sir. <laughs> Thank you. But uh, the reason why I'm telling you that is I want you to come in any time. Good people. Sure. You'd be hurt my feelings if you didn't. It's right down the street? Yep. Red Pill Wonderland. I took that red pill a long time ago. I know you did. So how's Gloria doing? She's always happy. An inspiration for us all, huh? You got it, sir. I 
Hi! Hi! Can I get a white chocolate mocha, non-fat milk, extra shot, 180 degrees, two Splendas, a whipped cream, a dash of cinnamon, four pumps of raspberry, please? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, miss? Miss? Yes? I'm really sorry, but we don't have a 360 degree white chocolate mocha with the non-fat cinnamon whipped cream, and I don't think we have any pumps at all. Sorry, she's right. No pumps. <laughs> <laughs> Don't take it personal, honey. I love a good pump just as much as the next girl does. <laughs> oh, that's a nice basket. Thank you. It's a really nice basket. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm gonna need you to turn your phone off and put it in. <laughs> Excuse me? We need to put your phone in the cubby. The cubby? The haunted hotel key cubby. Don't worry about that. Just the hotel was haunted, not the cubby. Still, I wouldn't pick number 13 if I were you. Yes, that is belonging to Joe. Belongs to Joe. Yes, belongs to Joe. <laughs> <laughs> So let me get this straight. You won't give me the drink I want. I can give you a scrumptious cup of coffee or even a nice tea. You won't give me the drink I want. You want me to give you my phone and, and I have to what? Stay on here and try not to get sucked into this Twilight Zone episode? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, hold that thought. I have to text. What happens if you don't? Well, my boss will have a conniption fit. She's very high strung. So are you at work right now? Well, no, not, not technically. But you have to text her back whenever she wants you to. <laughs> Absolutely. So you are at work then? Well, no. I don't know. I hope they're paying you to work 18 hours a day. You can do it! So you want me to turn my phone off and put it in there? You can have it back when you leave. Yes, don't be a man slave. It means don't be a slave to the man. <laughs> what is wrong with you people? <laughs> I can put a cinnamon stick in the tea. Boy, looky here. I think that's a new record, Tess. You broke the magic two minute mark for a reality check. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm an outcast. I'm officially an outcast. Now, what's worrying that pretty little head of yours, Missy? So it turns out the last time I was in here, all the other fucks. Fuckfus? <laughs> yes, fuckfus. <laughs> F U C F. It's just a little club we formed. Fed up caddy faculty. We all get together and bitch. <laughs> I mean, complain about the children, the district. The parents, oh god, the parents, they are the worst. Good old fashioned social bonding. Exactly. So it turns out the last time I was in Wonderland, I got 33 text messages about the latest crisis on campus. Oh no, what happened? Nothing happened. One of the children threw an eraser at one of the other children, and it bounced off and beamed poor old Miss El Chalabi in the head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was she hurt? She's fine. Her ridiculous little librarian glasses fell off her face and were broken. The old bat needs to update her style to the 19th century anyway! <laughs> oh gosh, that wasn't very nice, was it? <laughs> Go on there, Missy. Right. So, after the event, all the little hens in the hen house start clacking away with text messages about the lack of discipline in our schools. <laughs> so why are you the outcast? Oh, because I failed to respond to their text messages immediately! <laughs> Deja vu. Deja vu. You lost me. Oh, we had a nice pretty lady in here earlier with the same problem. She was afraid to stay because she might miss a text message. And the transformation is complete. Huh? The human brain has been mutated by the ridiculous, entitled expectations of self-importance that the cell phone has injected into people. Even Darwin would be impressed. Right, brother? Do you believe you are correct, sir? It's so true. If I don't text people back immediately, they unfriend me on Facebook. Unfriend us the bad one, right? It's dead! <laughs> <laughs> well, laugh all you like, but this is the latest and greatest in a long line of governmentally planted mental disorders and the most magnificent one yet, I might add. Conform! You've been reading your 1984! I'm almost at the end, it's so spooky. Yeah. Well, I say fight the power and fuck them! <laughs> <laughs> Well said. I would not have taken you for a public enemy fan, but kudos. What is happening to me? You're evolving. Here, here, brother. Just be thankful you're evolving in the right direction. Yeah! yeah! Red Pill Wonderland and the Rescue, we can all be outcasts together! Yes! <laughs> Yeah. Wait. 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 Wait
gotta help me. You gotta help me. Okay, Robbie, calm down. Just calm down, buddy. Tell me what happened. It's Gloria. She's gone. Who's Gloria? It's his little doggy. Oh, no! I swear, Lee, I went into the liquor store for just a minute. I just wanted some OJ. I know, I know. And when I came out, she was gone. We gotta find her! Guys, I have an idea. My roommate has her dog registered on this app called Find My Pooch. If her doggy ever goes missing, it goes out to like a million crazy dog lovers or something. Can we do that, Lee? I think we're better. Do you have a photo, Gloria? I got some, but I can't get no apps on this. Text it to me and I'll sign her up. Yeah, it'll go out immediately. I'm gonna go too. Serling, can you hold the fort? You know I can. Come on, everybody, grab your phones. Please, everybody, please, you have to help. We gotta find her. I don't know. That's black. She's black. She's a small black dog. She's like a Scotty dog. Hey, look. Not yet. I knew I should have gotten her that collar. We're gonna find her. I just know we're gonna find her. Nothing bad can happen in Wonderland. Nothing bad can happen in Wonderland. Nothing bad can happen in Wonderland. Gloria! Oh! Well, actually, she found me. So this is Red Pill Wonderland. I had no idea. I don't know how I can ever repay you, but I am forever in your debt, ma'am. Oh, it was my pleasure. Gloria? Gloria's a total sweetheart. How'd she find you? Well, I think it was magic. I was on my way here to apologize, actually. I'm sorry for the way I behaved earlier. Oh, you've got nothing to apologize about. Wonderland can be a bit overwhelming at first. Take it from me, he's right. <laughs> yeah, but you're gonna love it here. Sometimes I hate this damn thing. Can I give it to you now? Absolutely. How about lucky number seven, since we're so lucky it came along? So tell us about the magic. Well, as I said, I was on my way back here when that little cutie ran up to me and stood between my legs. She must really like you. Maybe. But Hot and her heels were two animal control officers. Oh no. Well, Gloria knows the truck. That's why she ran when I went into the liquor store. She's so smart. The liquor store down the street? Yeah. Well, I was just a block from there when Gloria found me. So I told the animal control officer that she was mine. That was very human of you. Oh, I love dogs. But she said I had to buy a license if I wanted to keep her. Uh-oh. Yeah. Then she wrote me a ticket for not having Gloria on a leash. What a bitch! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not taking that one back. So how did you know to bring her here? Well, I have all my puppies registered on Find My Pooch. The app worked! Yeah, I had a little tickle in my tummy about it. Those are the best kind. Right? So I pulled up the app and sure enough, it said to bring her here to Red Pill Wonderland. So you found your way back after all. Well, actually, Gloria practically dragged me here. She followed my scent. Probably wasn't hard. I'm a few days between showers at the moment, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that is nothing to be ashamed of. Yes, in France, the old timers prefer a natural aroma, as they say. <laughs> well, welcome. Danny. Hi, Hi Danny. Danny. How about that warm tea now, on the house? Can I have it with cinnamon? Of course. Did you know that it was actually the ancient Sumerians that introduced cinnamon to the world 6,000 years ago? She's right. The story goes that it was received as a gift from an alien race of visitors. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Finally, somebody who makes some sense around here. Welcome to Wonderland. <laughs> 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 <laughs>